Monchushage is the name that I chose for this new mink. It means bear claw in the Umaha Native American language. And uh, Monchushage has been doing really good. He's been uh, improving a lot. And um, I'm going to start teaching him the command to come. Um, I'm not going to use a whistle like I do for Missy to come. I'm going to use the whistle just for the lure. Um, whistles are louder and, and mink are more excited to come to the lure. So I figure it's a better to use the whistle for when they're long distance or lost or whatever. Because uh, they can hear it better and it gets them more excited if they know it's the lure rather than just a piece of food. So the command I'm going to give him to come is going to be Glingaho, which is Umaha for uh, come here. It's a command, come here, come. So I'm going to use that for his food call. So when I when I give him just a piece of meat, I'm going to tell him Glingaho. And uh, then when I start training him to the lure, I'll use the whistle. That way, like I said, the whistle's louder. He'll be able to hear it from farther away, and he'll be more motivated to come because it's more than just a piece of food. So... I uh, read with him again this morning, but it got him quite frustrated. He wanted to eat, and he, he's climbing up on me. Not not on me, but climbing up uh, near me. Yesterday, I got him to put his front paws on my glove. So he's at the point now where he'll step up on my glove, but not all the way, just his front paws. So the goal today is to get him to step all the way up on my glove with uh, all four feet. We'll see if I can get him to do that today. Um, and uh, also teach him what Glingaho means. So he'll start coming and he'll he'll recognize uh, the word Glingaho as, uh, well I guess phrase, Glingaho as uh, the food call. So he'll he'll start, every time I say that, he'll start thinking of food. So let's see what we can get him to do today. Here, come on. Bring the hook. I just gave him that one just as a starter piece because he's not, he's a little bit excited. And um, I'll just basically tease him till I get him up on my glove. And if he's not willing to cooperate, then uh, I'll come back later tonight and try again. And um, let's see how we, what we can get him to do. Basically what I do is I put one glove in front of him so he's got to step on it to get to the meat and I just kind of tease him up. Bingo hook. He's doing pretty good last night. He's a little nervous right now. There we go. I got him to step up on the glove. He's wanting to take my glove with the meat. <laughs> so it's a good thing I got gloves on or he'd be taking my hand with the meat. Let's see if I can get him to step up a little better this time. Bingo. Oh, you see how I got him stepping up on the glove? I don't know if you guys can see very well. Maybe I should switch positions here. So you can see it a little better. I think it's a little clearer on this side, isn't it? Not like you can answer me. <laughs> Get him another piece of meat here. That's a big one.
Lingo. Why do you want to go on that side? Come over here. See on this side. Lingo. There you go. See how I just teased him up to st standing on my glove? Next step is to get him all the way up on there. And I got him doing that yesterday, so this isn't the first time he stood up like that. I had him doing it yesterday. It's amazing how big he is. Seriously, when he just puts his front paws on my glove, it's heavier than my other mink's whole body. He is just a ginormous mink. Just so big. sniffing my pocket full of meat. Maybe this way. I don't know why he's obsessed with the other side today. Come on, move over this way. <laughs> Silly chubby. Come over here. There we go. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Blingo ho. Okay, well, I'm just going to work with him on this side. Sorry if you guys can't see as well. Lingo. He's getting a drink here. Lingo. See if I can get him all the way off the ground. He's pretty nervous about that. I got him stepping up on my glove. Pretty good. Oh, he stole a piece. Let's see if I can get him off the ground. He doesn't like that idea. Give him another freebie there because he's getting kind of nervous. There. Let him just kind of stand there for a minute. Right. He's like, I don't know about that. Stole it from me. That's okay. He's getting closer and closer, and and uh, it's getting him more confident with stepping on me. So we'll get in there. Lingaho. Lingaho. Almost got him off the ground there, but he uh, grabbed it too quick. I think we might be getting him off the ground this next session later tonight because he's not quite letting me do it. I'm going to try this one last piece, and if I can't get him up there, I'm going to quit. He's had quite a bit of muskrat meat. Now he's got to get up on my glove or he's not going to get this one. Unless he out moves me and snatches it. Oh. He almost 
snatched it from me there. I'll hide it in my glove so he can smell it, but he can't get to it. there. Oh, he started coming off the ground so I let go but he backed off before I got him off the ground there. Let's try again. Oh, there he goes. Off the ground. Look at that. off the ground. First time he's ever let a person pick him up by choice. Look at that. Good job. Good job. Good job, Montu Shange. Good job, boy. You can do it, Montu Shange. You can do it. Lingaho. Bingo ho. Oh. Come on, you did it last time. It wasn't so bad, was it? Done. He might be too full, he doesn't care. Come on. Are you done? Shall we call it a day and you can eat some more later tonight? Hmm? It's up to you. I'll feed you this whole thing if you let me. Oh, he stole a piece of it. 